Hello all, welcome back. Now we are going to look at second lesson of this module and we will look into file and folder backups. In this module we will cover what is Azure Backup and uh, what is Recovery Services Vault and different backup options and we will see a demonstration of how to create Backup Services Vault and configure Azure Backups and we are going to look at how to implement an on-premises file and folder backup as well using Mars Agent and a demonstration as well. So Azure Backup is a cloud-based backup service to store or backup our files in the cloud. It is again a direct replacement of on-premises on backup systems which we usually have. There are some of uh, the key benefits which Azure Backups provide. One is that since this is a Microsoft managed service, we don't need to worry about uh, managing the end-to-end -end backup infrastructure. And we can easily store our Azure and on-premises files in the cloud. It helps in backing up of infrastructure as a service virtual machines. And there is no cap or limit on the data transfer itself. So if the backup takes large amount of data, it easily scales. By default, encryption is enabled for all the backups. So whenever we store some backup information in the cloud, we don't normally store uh, the key along with the backup for decryption. The key may be stored either in on-premises or secured in uh, Key Vault or some other HSM in on-prem as well. There is an option for uh, storing application consistent backup as well which means that all the application dependencies will be rightly stored in inside the backup itself and the restoration time will be very less. We can configure long-term retention policies as well and we can store up to uh, 9999 backups in the cloud. And we have the flexibility to choose what type of storage account we want to use. We can either use uh, locally redundant storage or uh, geo redundant storage as per our requirements. Whenever, whenever we try to configure a backup, we have to choose where exactly our workload is running. Is it running on Azure or is it on on prem? If we choose to backup on Azure, there are uh, three different options which is available. One is like whether we can uh, backup a virtual machine or whether we want to backup an Azure file share or SQL uh, server VM as well. And if it is on-prem, we have multiple options uh, like whether it is VMware virtual machine, Hyper-V or is it SQL server, SharePoint server, Exchange, etc. So based on the type of the workload, uh, various options will change. So let's switch uh, back to a demonstration showing how exactly to create a backup recovery services vault, how to configure the vault. So we are in Azure portal. Let's search for recovery services vault. and we are going to create a new recovery services vault. Let's create a new resource group called recovery hyphen service and we name it as my recovery vault 01 and we need to choose the region where exactly we need to store our backups let's choose east us and we don't need to provide any tags then we can go ahead and create.
here by default the configuration option is GRS with soft delete enabled so it's just providing some information and we are okay with that and we are creating the recovery services vault so now the deployment is complete and a recovery services vault has been created let's go to the results and if you want to configure backup we can click on backup and it shows the dashboard of uh, what is being uh, backed up in last 24 hours if there are any jobs we are able to see all this information let's click on backup here this is where we need to select where exactly our workloads are running is it on azure or is it on on premises or is it on azure stack let's choose azure in this case and if we choose azure we have those three options which we have seen virtual machine azure file share and sql server let's choose azure file share once we choose azure file share we need to click on backup this will ask for which is the Azure storage account which we need to back up. It will check for all the storage account which is present. So currently there are no storage account that can be backed up in the vault. Let's create one. So currently I have created a new storage account in East US region called MyStore009 and I have created a yeah, new file share called Share1 and under this Share1 I have uploaded some sample files. Let's go back to our recovery services vault. And now we'll try to enable the backup. Let's pick our vault. And click on backup. And choose the backup goal as Azure. And Azure file share is the target. And if we click to next step, again it will check for storage account in the same region. Hopefully it shows our storage account. Let's choose that. It's trying to validate in the backend and registering it uh, with the recovery service vault. now it has successfully registered and it is going to the next step of choosing the right files and folders for the backup now it shows we have share one and we select the share and we click on ok now we have to configure the backup policy what is the current backup policy which we have since this is an empty account, we don't have a backup policy. Let's uh, create new. We call it as file share hyphen policy. And we can schedule a daily backup 
for this one and we can retain it for 30 days so let's click on ok this will go ahead and create a policy in the backend and once we click on enable backup backup will be enabled for the file share so now the backup is complete let's go to our recovery services vault and click on backup items we are able to see we have already backed up one azure file in the storage so let's see how we can implement the similar type of backups for on-premises files and folders there are some additional steps involved if we want to extend this backup to on-prem obviously the first step is creation of recovery services vault which is common and instead of choosing Azure as the backup source we need to choose it on-prem and if we choose on-prem we will be able to download an agent and a credential file and we need to install that agent on a VM and then we have to configure the backup there is an agent called Mars it's Microsoft Azure recovery services agent and this is the agent which we need to install it on a physical machine or a virtual machine and one thing to note is that this agent can be installed on Windows OS only and this is uh, backing up files and folders or volume level uh, uh, content it's not application aware Let's switch back to a demonstration to see how exactly we can configure the backup. So let's navigate to our backup services vault. and let's click on backup and this time instead of azure as answer for where is your workload running let's choose on premises and we want to backup files and folders then there is an option uh, for prepare infrastructure let's click on that it will provide what are all the steps which is required for configuring this uh, backup in on-prem so we need an agent this is called the Mars agent let's download this and once it's downloaded let's run it it's trying to install the agent and it's asking for where exactly we need to install it let's pick the default and the installation is almost complete so now the agent has been successfully installed the next step is we need to register this agent with 
the recovery service is valid. Let us proceed to registration. So, we need to download the vault credentials. Let us download it and save it. Let us switch back to Mars Agent and browse and we choose the vault credential which we have downloaded and it will try to register it. We need to provide a passphrase for encryption. Let us provide the passphrase here and where exactly we need to store the passphrase. Let us store it in desktop and click on finish ok the passphrase needs to be 16 character let's generate one and click on finish this will go ahead and register this agent with the backup services vault now the registration is complete and we can go ahead and launch the recovery services agent. So now we have the agent and there is an option for schedule a backup. So let us click on schedule backup and it will fetch the policy information and let's create a new backup let's choose the items to backup let's pick program files under c drive let's click on ok and let's proceed to next step what is the schedule for the backup? Let us uh, go with 4 a.m. daily and configure the retention policy. Let us pick the default. And how are we going to do the initial backup? Is it through the network or whether we are going to use services like Azure Data Box to ship it offline? Let us go with online and here we have the confirmation of what we have chosen let's accept that and it's trying to create a backup schedule and it's meanwhile creating the backup job now the backup is success if we want to recover data after it's backed up we have to go through the similar process called recover data and here we can choose what exactly we need to restore. So that's how we need to configure Azure